First stop of the day, Starbucks. Look, you want $26. That's insane for a plastic container. They want $26, like gross. And it's nice to know that they raised the prices on these. These used to be only 10 bucks. Now it's 25. Ew, personified. $20 for this. Yuck. I'm looking for a new office chair. This one is $25. And I like that it's wide because yo bitch is wide. And it's actually kind of comfortable. I like the padded and the fabric. The one I have now is literally breaking apart because I have a fat ass. Anyway. And this Daniel is buying for $25. So the, both of this is $50. So that's kind of cool. Oh, it's Mark too. Had and all. I got this super cute little Dooney pouch. It has a little bit of wear, like right there. Otherwise, I totally would have got it. I feel like it was a limited edition piece. It's so cute, though. Hey guys, we just left Daniel at Salvation uh, Valley Village. We're heading to Salvation Army. Um, we're trying to utilize our time more efficiently. Daniel found this really nice dresser. I would love to flip furniture, but even with a storage locker, it's still hard because, you know, dressers are heavy. I can't fit in my car. His dad has a truck, so he's able to move things like that. So I'm kind of limited to what will fit inside of my car. But I did find an office chair at that same location, which is nice because I've been looking for a new desk slash office chair. And the ones I was looking at online, like they were still expensive. Like the cheapest one was like 80 bucks. But the good ones, the padded ones, the wide ones are more expensive, like 150. And the ones that I was limited to on the selection on uh, the shopping channel, the cheapest one was like 250. So the fact that I only paid $25 for a new wide padded fabric office chair. Hallelujah, we are happy with that purchase. Here we are. Oh my God, did you guys hear about the freaking revelation of Britney Spears and what happened when she was a teenager and she got pregnant by Justin Timberlake and then Justin Timberlake coerced her into an abortion? I am shooketh, I am shook beyond. That came out yesterday and I was like, literally like, oh, what? But even though that is shooketh, I'm still in love with Justin Timberlake. I love Justin Timberlake. I've loved Justin Timberlake since 1997. Nothing you can say about Justin Timberlake will make me not ever love him. So love Britney. She was my pop queen. I grew up listening to Britney. Like this was like, so 98 to 2002. So I was in my late, no, mid teens to early 20s. And my pop queen was always Madonna. It's always been Madonna. But when Britney came out, to me, she was the pop princess. She was my, I loved her. I loved everything she did. Her movies, her music, her music videos were iconic. And she was just my, my. I put her on a pedestal, okay? And of course, second to that is Christina Aguilera. So it was like Britney, then Christina Aguilera. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with that story. But also thinking of, did you guys see Chris, Christina Aguilera on Jimmy Kimmel? She is looking snatched like a mofo. She literally looks like she's 28, 25. She looks good. It's those Latina jeans. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> and you know who else is looking snatched? Kelly Clarkson. Hello. People are saying, oh, people are saying Ozempic, but I don't know. People are so, people are so annoying online. They just assume, they just make comments that they're not educated or like factual. Online annoys the the hell out of me because uh, anyway sorry. <laughs> you personified grotesque livid abhorrent ooh Louis Vuitton what's up <laughs> $17 it's like a Louis Vuitton Hermes collab Grotesque. Guys, 
I'm a bride. Bride of Frankenstein. That's kind of cute. You're sick. I do. Okay, so yesterday when we went thrifting, I bought something for Daniel and it was like a Northern Reflections hoodie from Salvation Army for $13. I accidentally donated it yesterday. Oh, I've been trying to look for it in my closet and I remember I'm like, oh my God, I placed it inside this big basket that I ended up donating to the thrift store. So um, instead of him paying me $13 for it, I'm out money. I hate wasting money so bad. Like it just, ugh. especially to Salvation, I mean, not Salvation, to Value Village, you know, they rip you off already with their high prices. So I'm so annoyed. And it was a good one too. It was like a made in Canada, Northern Reflections hoodie, um, size large, but it's so annoying guys. I hate wasting money so much. Ugh. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm gonna count it as a write off because I have the receipt anyway. Um, but I want to show you guys what we did get thrifting from yesterday and today. It's not that good. So if you want to stick around, still stick around. But it's nothing too exciting. It's kind of like meh. But I, you know, I thrift. I'm a channel that thrifts. So I'll show you regardless. Um, I picked up this Notorious B.I.G. CD, the double disc one, for two bucks. Uh, it's complete. It's there. So, I don't know. This brings back memories from 1997. And... This album is iconic, so. <laughs> so yeah, did you guys listen to this when you were growing up? I would have been in my mid-teens when this came out, so. And I remember when the CD came out, I could not afford it. I wanted to buy it because the song that was popular was Mo Money, Mo Problems, but I could not afford the CD. It was like $35 or something like that because double CDs are more expensive. And now we have it. <laughs> this, I actually didn't find, Daniel found it. It's a Patagonia. Um, size XL winter jacket. It's long, it covers your bum. It says Patagonia there. And I like that it says Patagonia on the back right there too. Um, so Daniel found it, I really wanted it. So I ended up trading him five jackets for this one jacket. <laughs> I know, right? So I ended up paying probably like, okay. So he paid $18 for this. This jacket is probably worth like 250, but I ended up giving him or trading him a Hudson, a Bay Smart Hudson Bay wool and fur jacket, probably sells for 100, 150. I paid like $23 for it. A North Face 550 women's white jacket, I paid about $20 for it too, and um, probably can resell for 80 to 100. A North Face shell, I probably paid like $12 for that. And then a, what else was there? Another North Face jacket uh with um a parka north face parka um probably paid like 20 dollars for it and then was that it hey okay. base smart north face north face base smart north face north face north face oh and another north face a size medium women's like longer one probably paid like 15 dollars for it um so he's gonna make a lot of money on those i couldn't really sell those i had them listed for the longest time i probably had it listed too high, but he'll probably be able to, go, to do good with them. But yeah, so he ended up lucking out. But I really wanted this for myself. I mean, if I get a good offer for it, I'll take it. But I do like Patagonia. It's one of my favorite brands for outerwear. So I feel like it's better than North Face. Anyway, anyway, that's what we got. Thank you, Daniel. The, we found this at the Goodwill. We don't usually go to Goodwill. But it is a 2002, so it is vintage, Beatles revolver. Um big print of their album cover uh it says apple music on the bottom here or apple corpse it says apple corpse right there but yeah so technically it's vintage because it's 20 years old we found another lug um this one was priced really well too 13 dollars it's in perfect condition as well this is really a baby bag but you can use it for anything really i feel like travel is great for this got all your pockets you know and then inside it actually has a change mat <laughs> it's just nice <coughs> <coughs> it has that thing too where you can put your dirty diapers here or shoes so it could be a gym bag but this is for the stroller apparently someone said these two things but $13 I, I sold all my other lugs from Laura Sephora Junkie she bought like three of my lugs so thank you Laura <laughs> 
This one is a good one too, because this is an actual baby bag too, but yeah, see, nowhere whatsoever. The last thing that we got was these Versace sunglasses. I think they're men's, but not 100% sure. I mean, anything could be anybody's nowadays, right? Freaking men wearing skirts, women wearing boxers. We paid $30 for them and used a 20% off coupon. And here they are. They just say Versace on the side there. And here's the model number right there. And they're cute, they're very cute. Imagine you're like sunbathing the south of France and you're like, yeah, Versace, what's up? <laughs> it came with the case, so that's nice. So yeah, made in Italy, even the case is made in Italy. And that's all that we got, guys. Um, today was kind of hot. Like, I was wearing my puffer jacket and it was like kind of hot today, so. You have to put the glasses in right like that so that they fit in, this, in the case. Anyway, guys, that's all that we got. Thank you for joining me thrifting. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.